Hi, this is Jackie from Gemlogis, and today I'm going to be doing a demonstration video of our new SEAL 1 and also the pistachio referential meter. Now the SEAL 1 looks exactly the same as our old SEAL. Um, the only difference is that there's white around the tip of the tester. And what this is, is it's a new visible violet light technology that will distinguish the very difficult low conductivity moissanite, such as the Forever One moissanite and Neo moissanite. Now the SEAL-1 will be able to test for diamonds, moissanite, and simulant. Now, where it says simulant, that means basically anything lower than moissanite and higher than a CZ. So all of your gemstones, your white sapphire, topaz, ruby, emerald, those will light up as simulant. Um, CZ and glass will not light up. They will do nothing. Um, another, a few important tips. Um, the visible violet light will only shine down when testing a diamond or a moissanite. So if you're testing any of the gemstones I just mentioned, the light won't go off. It's not necessary for those stones. It's only necessary for diamond and moissanite. And it is a retractable tip. You must, you must push the tip completely into the stone for an accurate reading with this tester. Okay, so I'll show you how to use the tester. So you just push the on off button and you'll see the ready light will blink. And then once it stays green and remains steady, that means it's ready for testing. As you can see here, metal, simulant, moissanite, diamond, including Forever One and Neo Moissanite. Okay, so now it's ready for testing. Um, you do want to make sure you clean off all of your stones and rings with a polishing cloth. I already already had done that prior to the video. Um, and you want to make sure your hands are clean and free from oils. Um, okay, so once you start testing, you're going to make sure both hands are touching our fingers are touching the metal plates on each side of the tester. Okay. And first I'll start off with the ring. Um, so this ring I have here has a diamond on the left, a regular moissanite in the middle, and a CZ on the right. So I'll show you how the SEAL-1 works on its own first. So it, you can use it as a multi-tester. So diamond and you can see the light shine down for a second onto the stone and then distinguish it as a diamond. Moissanite. Moist. Ooh. If you hit metal, the metal alert will go off, so I hit the metal there. Okay, so again, we have diamond. Moissanite. CZ. We'll do nothing, so you know it's a CZ. And again, metal. The metal alert will go off. Now I'll test here. I have a Forever One Moissanite. And it easily detects a Forever One Moissanite as a Moissanite. Uh, most of the other testers on the market right now will actually detect the Forever One Moissanite as a diamond. Okay. And here I have a ring that has sapphire and diamonds on it. So a sapphire will light up as simulant and diamond will light up as diamond. Okay. Now, if you want to use the pistachio, um, all you have to do is you just turn the pistachio on and you'll see the green light will light up. And then to connect the two together, you're just going to hold this on off button for just a second or two until that IR light lights up. Um, and that's the, the infrared light. I know it's a little bit blurry here on the video, but it does say IR and it's the light all the way to the left. So you're going to hold the on off button and there you go. So the light lights up and once the two lights are steady, that means it's ready to go with the pistachio. You're all connected. Now the pistachio basically gives you a readout of all your colored stones. So I know it's a little bit hard to see, but I'll just move the pistachio up a little closer. Um, so as you can see, there's glass and CZ, there's kyanite, topaz, ruby, sapphire, moissanite, and diamond. So it's really if you want a readout of those colored stones. Um, so what I'll demonstrate with, I'll demonstrate with a moissanite and then I'll demonstrate the, the ring that has diamonds and sapphires on it. Um, and again, I'm going to be demonstrating a sapphire so you'll see the sapphire line is right here. Okay. 
So before you start testing, to make sure that the tester is working properly, um, there's a few metal plates on the pistachio. You can touch them just to make sure. Okay, so the simulant is working. And the simulant will typically go to the ruby sapphire section. Diamond, okay, you can see diamond is working, it goes to the green. Okay, so now you're all calibrated. And I'll show you how the tester works with the sapphire and diamond ring. So you wanna make sure that the seal one is facing the pistachio. Okay, and as you can see, the dial moves to that sapphire range. The diamond moves to the diamond range. And we'll test the Forever One Moissanite. And the Forever One Moissanite moves to the Moissanite range. Um, and that noise you just heard was me hitting the metal. Um, so again, then I'll show you the, the Forever One Moissanite. The Moissanite is right here, that brown section. And there you go, the dial goes to moissanite. Um, so this tester is great for testing diamond, moissanite, and simulants on its own. So the seal one can be used by itself as an individual unit to test diamond, moissanite, simulants, and metal. Um, or it can be used in conjunction with the pistachio referential meter for a readout of your various gemstones. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.